so welcome everyone so last time we uh, have seen the process of glycolysis and it was basically the first step of the cellular respiration now we will move on to the second stage of cellular respiration so the second step second stage you can say after the cellular respiration is tca cycle or we can call it tricarbolo uh, tricarboxylic acid cycle or we can also say krebs cycle because it is named uh, in the name of krebs so uh, this process uh, basically undertakes in the mitochondrial matrix inside the mitochondrial matrix so uh, in this video we will see a simple and easy explanation stepwise so please don't skip the video to understand the cycle in a very easy manner okay so introduction like in the last video the cytosol here glycolysis occurs and this one is the mitochondrial matrix where the citric acid cycle will occur this is the second step okay and what this oxidative for phosphorylation this will be the third step so first one was glycolysis second one is uh, cycle and third one will be the oxidative phosphorylation so these all are interlinked to each other okay so the tca cycle uh, or we can say the citric uh, citric acid cycle it is the second stage of the cellular respiration and the it is basically the cellular respiration is a three stage process like we have discussed this is the, these are the three stages one is glycolysis one is citric acid cycle one is oxidative phosphorylation okay so here we will discuss about the second step that is the tca cycle so it is a series of enzyme catalyzed reaction so we will see all the steps one by one in this video where the acetyl coenzyme a the basic concept is the acetyl coenzyme a is oxidized to form carbon dioxide and coenzymes are reduced that generate atp in the electron transport chain okay so the tca cycle uh, the tca cycle is located it is located in the mitochondrial matrix and is it is the common metabolic pathway for all fuels and is responsible for the production of majority of the reduced coenzyme used for the generation of atp in the electron transfer chain where in the electron transfer chain okay so the citric acid uh, cycle basically it provides the electron that fuel the process of oxidative phosphorylation so here the oxidative phosphorylation will take place so here fueling up is taking place like you can say it is fueling it up so that the oxidative phosphorylation can take place easily so oxidative phosphorylation it is the major source of atp and energy okay as the acetyl group is broken the electrons are stored in the carrier nadh and it will be delivered to the complex one so that all we will see in next steps so this is the basic explanation of the tca cycle tricarboxylic cycle or we can say krebs cycle or we can say citric acid cycle there are various names you can name it anyhow so the cycle it is a uh, it is a series of chemical reaction we will see all the steps one by one easily okay so here this is the very first step of the what happened here the condensation of acetyl acetyl coenzyme a will take place here okay what the acetyl coenzyme a will uh, with oxaloacetate it will and it will condense it will be formed here this is the very first step so it is catalyzed by citrate synthesis like you can see here citrate synthetase okay so water molecule what happen here one more process the water molecule uh, it attacks the acetyl uh, why it attacks the acetyl so it will lead to the release of coenzyme a from the complex so here water is attacking so it will lead to the release of coenzyme a from the complex and here the final citrate is formed so this is the first step of the tca cycle so now moving on to the second step what happens in the second stage 
second stage here the citrate is rearranged to form isocitrate so here we can see the citrate okay the citrate it is rearranged to form isocitrate with the help of aconitase which enzyme aconitase so every step have a enzyme that catalyzes the reaction here aconitase is catalyzing the reaction so water molecule is removed in the process okay here the main process is here h2o water molecule it is removed okay the water molecule is removed and so after this the rearrangement take place and after the rearrangement the isocitrate is formed so basically rearrangement the transformation takes place in the very process this is the second step now moving on further so basically there are uh, how many steps there are uh, basically there are eight basic steps okay not more there are there were 10 steps in glycolysis okay there were 10 steps in glycolysis there will be eight. so this one is the third step in the third step the isocitrate you know uh, the isocitrate dehydrogenase here enzyme is not written the Carboxylation take place basically here it is taking place you can see the full process the oxidative carboxylation take place uh, and the isocitrate is finally converted to form alpha ketoglutarate so here uh, isocitrate is formed in uh, form to convert the alpha ketoglutarate with the help of uh, enzyme that is isocitrate dehydrogenase so isocitrate dehydrogenase here catalyzes the reaction okay isocitrate dehydrogenase you can remember this after this the fourth step so this is the third step this is the fourth step uh, also in the third third step we can see that the enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase it catalyzes the oxidation of the OH group okay catalyze the reaction of the OH group and uh, at the fourth position you can see this one okay of isocitrate uh, to yield the intermediate forming alpha ketoglutarate so the intermediate is formed okay and after this the alpha ketoglutarate is formed so in the very fourth step what happened the alpha ketoglutarate is converted to succinyl coenzyme A. Okay, succinyl coenzyme A alpha ketoglutarate is converted oxidized is it is oxidized to CO2 uh, and CO2 is removed here. Okay, this is the CO2 carbon dioxide it is removed and coenzyme A is added to form four carbon complex. So here coenzyme A is added to form the four carbon complex. This is the uh fourth step okay so moving on this is the fifth step the reaction the fifth step where coenzyme a is removed from the succinyl coenzyme a produce succinate so here it is coenzyme a is removed to produce succinate yeah succinate succinyl coenzyme a is converted Energy is released in this it is uh, basically the energy is released is it is used to make GTP GTP here you can see GTP what is GTP the full form is gonosin uh, triphosphate so the GTP it is from uh, it is used to make GTP from GDP GTP is diphosphate okay this is triphosphate this is diphosphate and PI by phosphorylation so here basically phosphorylation takes place for phosphorylation takes place uh, to produce succinate okay so succinate coenzyme a is synthetase is basically used as a enzyme to catalyze the reaction now moving on to the sixth step so we have seen five steps sixth step is the succinate is oxidized to form fumarate here we can see the succinate it is oxidized to form fumarate so oxidation take place so FAD is reduced to FADH2 
FAD is reduced to FADH2. The succinate dehydrogenase uh, here, the succinate dehydrogenase, okay, it is not written, the succinate dehydrogenase. Succinate dehydrogenase catalyzes the removal of two hydrogen. So what, happen, what is happening here? Two hydrogens are removed in this process and the final product is fumarate. So this is the sixth step of the process. Now moving on to the seventh step. Okay, the seventh step. Here what happens is the reversible hydration takes place. Okay, so fumarate is converted to uh, malate. Or we can simply say malate. Okay, fumarate is converted to malate with the help of fumarase. The enzyme which catalyzes the reaction is fumarase. This catalyzes this reaction and the hydrogen and oxygen added back into the substrate. So hydrogen and oxygen is added back into the substrate here, which was removed in the previous step. Okay. So after this, the final step. What is the final step? The L malate or malate we can say is converted to oxaloacetate. This is the product. Okay, we have done the cycle and we are back to the product, the starting compound of the citric acid cycle with the help of malate dehydrogenase. So here enzyme is used is malate dehydrogenase. Malate dehydrogenase. Okay. So uh, during this oxidation, NAD plus is reduced to NAD. Plus. So production takes place in this process. So these are the basic eight steps in the full process. Okay. Uh, in the first step, the acid. Third one acetate to alpha ketoglutarate. Uh, fourth one alpha ketoglutarate to succinyl coenzyme succinyl coenzyme to succinate succinate to fumarate fumarate to malate malate to so this is the steps which takes place in between okay so the intermediate uh, like uh, intermediate we uh, memorize it in a form of cycle okay uh, so in the last step what happened the nad and the couple oxidation basically takes place okay l malate to it is catalyzed by malate dehydrogenase and this will finally close the cycle this is the final um, um, result of the tca cycle so uh, we know it is also called krebs cycle uh, why it is called krebs cycle it was a german chemist uh, adolf krebs Okay, he discovered the cycle in 1937. It marks a milestone in biochemistry. Basically, in the field of biochemistry, uh, Crab is, you can say, he is the father of biochemistry. Not the father, but he, he have done many things. So, the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine also was delivered to uh, Adolf Crab in 1953 for contribution for the intermediary metabolism in the oxidation breakdown of carbohydrates. So, the TCA cycle is very much important in the process of respiration, okay, and it is applicable uh, in many places, okay. The TCA related metabolic applications are you studied in various places, isotope label compounds, mass spectroscopy, okay. So, this is a very important cycle that, uh, you know, so this is the cycle we memorize. Okay. We have explained each step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The basic cycle that we all memorize. It is the citric acid cycle or In this process, here the ATP generation. What is the total ATP generation? So total ATP here is 12 ATP. 12 ATP. How? So three NAD plus is obtained. Okay, in the process, three NAD plus means nine ATP. One NAD plus have three. So three, three, three. It is 
nine eighty p one f a d okay here this one so here two eighty p one eighty p is and basically here okay so and uh, the total generation of a t p in this whole process is r twelve so this is the simple process each process simple processes in the citric acid cycle or we can say the second step in the cellular respiration we will also see the third step is the oxidative phosphorylation in the next video okay so this was for today